it would have been hit or miss 12 and 12 in the game in stage two. So, uh, up that surprises me because I feel like when I cast, like they look so good in search. And you know, early in stage two, we talked about search is one of their better game modes. I wonder if they've kind of tailed off recently, or if it's been just kind of a a consistent thing over the course of stage two here. Well, we'll kick things off here with FaZe as they're going to be playing from the least preferred side. So they just need to kind of weather the storm here. Make sure out the gaming just doesn't run the score up. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's really just keeping this as tight as you possibly can, but losing so many players off the rip makes it a little bit scary, but they're able to answer back. Karma is trying to see if maybe he can somehow get in for a one-point trot. Not able to do it. The juke's not enough. Is ultimately going to fall. It'll be Zuma bringing the drone out over towards Krim. He's actually going to toss it down and doesn't get it off the map. So drone going to be down over by Bricks. Faye's going to send some players over, though. They're going to swarm, try and pick up the drone here. And it's actually in the spot where it is off the I've map. I've never it's seen it get stuck in that corner. Yeah, it's actually in a corner where it's not able to be picked up. And it should go back to mid map in a second. There it goes. And see Clay pre-firing the corner. Not able to win that engagement versus Formal. And I think uh, Formal's a big player on this map. Needs to play well for Optic Gaming. Uh, it seems like you're going to have Karma running a secondary AR. Going to be going with the M8. So, see if uh, he can help gain some control of the phase base. But up until this moment in time, uh, I've not seen anything from either side really at any attempt to get a score. Well, now might be an opportunity. That earns the psychosis. Pushing forward. Nobody's home. He's actually got a dunk out front. He's got a free dunk. Does he realize it? The answer is no. Because <laughs> he definitely would have been able to flush that one through. But to get the one point on the board, and every single point for phase is completely crucial. Well, he's got to get back to his own base. I mean, they're going to clear Enable out, but you see the drone being pushed up the other side of the map. It's going to be Karma working with Krim. They should be able to get at least a one-point play out of this. They're going to go around the corner, try and get two. It's going to be Karma diving it in, getting two points. And now you see the flood from off the gaming, trying to get into the phase base. They're all shut down. See Formal here, though, watching the overextension. Nice play. Baits that one player out. Stays alive. A few extra seconds. It's going to let his teammates try and get some map control back. Well, you try to get back to map. What is going on with Attach? You saw him struggle in the game, too. He's 1-5 right now. Maybe just a, a rough couple days for him? I, I'm not sure. I mean, he, for me, he's been one of the more consistent sub-players in the game. Yeah, and a Clay there trying to force that one in for two, and uh, he gets cut down. Drone going to get tossed off the map. But still a good first half there for Aura, the guys on phase. I mean, it's still 2-1 to one in favor of Optic Gaming, but you look at how high scoring this one usually is. Uh, towards the side, uh, you know, where Optic Gaming yeah. is attacking. On. I feel great if I'm face. Oh, you feel amazing if you're face. Well, Attach is leaked in behind, but there's nobody home. So unless they can get the drone to him, he's basically uninvolved in the action. He has to wrap back and try to pick up some kills here mid-map. Otherwise, he's ultimately hurting the team. He hasn't found anyone. He's got to wonder where the hell the team of Optic Gaming is. Finally going to find one mid, slide out, looking all around, trying to search for one in lab, just misses one directly in front of him. Well, I think the side of Optic Gaming knew there was one player lost on their side of the map for phase. They just had no idea where he was. And because Attach spent so long just lingering in the back, it allowed uh, you know, Optic to just kind of look around in the base. Bought a lot of time for phase the second half. And we said it's been a tremendous half for phase. They just need to close it out well. Karma picks up two. And he gets drone control. Attach able to win a big gunfight, though. Attach was the only one left on the map for a second there. Yep. He's going to be able to push through. Has heat wave. They could potentially try and go for a two-point play here. Well, both teams kind of spawning out. So you have to wrap back for Optic Gaming. Unfortunately, you're spawning on the side. The drone is not because Attach was the last one remaining. There is what you talk about with the heat waves coming in. But who's still there to finish it up? It's going to be Enable. So they will get the dunk through. But you've got a really good counter opportunity. Kremis has to grab this and go. You're going to be playing basically three on two if you're able to get forward. But with the teammate dying out front, he gets a little bit nervous about the push. But now he opts to go, and there's the Tempest from behind. Solid stuff from Clayster. And what shuts down what could have been an easy counter dump. It's been tremendous defense on the side of FaZe Clan. They've been able to pick up some big kills in their own base. And now you see Clay with the Tempest trying to get into an advantageous position where he can lay down some shots on the guys of Optic. They're going to challenge him. He's going to get one. Picks up a second one. Not able to grab a third with the RK5. Two nice shots there with the Tempest from Clay. Now, the base does not have to be the aggressors with the drone in this situation. Maybe milk, they can just milk the clock. Yeah, milk the clock. Just let it sit here over by bricks. Pick it up every once in a while. Toss it down. Pick it back up. And you see they're actually able to get two kills trying to move it forward. Not a big fan of that decision. Yeah, well, two tried to fly. And Clayster was able to pick them both up on the cross. You still have two players to apply pressure here. 
Unable going to use that psychosis. He saw one go mid map. There's one. There was a second there. I believe Zuma was able to clean that up. With 27 seconds left, you got three down. Profit Gaming. You got it. That's all, everybody. You got to get points on the board. You need to get at least one here. Actually, to be honest, you don't need to get anything. I mean, having a lead on this side is absolutely insane. But one more point, surely not going to hurt anything. Maybe you can turn it into two with the kinetic armor. Teammates clearing the way. The heat wave comes in. This should be a dunk in the final five seconds. There it is. 5-2 lead phase from the weak side. What is that? And they played that perfectly there at the end. A lot of other teams would have panicked a little bit, try and push aggressively into the Optic Gaming base. They waited for the Heat Wave to lead the way. Tatch pops it, picks up two players, and then it's going to be Zuma dunking it home there at the end. And not a good first half there for Optic Gaming. No, I mean, this is where we saw, think about it, from this side, we saw them come back down 11. Was it Elevator Rise? Oh, rise, rise, right? Yep. They come down 11. They put up so many points on that side, they're only able to get two against FaZe. Now you swap. You have to fe be feeling absolutely phenomenal if you're a FaZe fan. I mean, maybe not in the overall series because you're down two games, but you're feeling real good about this game three and the chance of extending the series. Let's see how Opta Gaming bounces back here in the second half, and it's going to be three straight kills oh, for no. FaZe. Unable just does enough to play his life there. Stays alive, and now he's going to be pushing with the rest of his teammates over towards the Optic Gaming base. Let's see. Zuma's going to go high off the wall run, going to put in a two-point play. It is not looking good for OG right now. Yeah, things could start to get really ugly, actually, from this side. Uh, everybody dropping, though. Everyone just fell for base. So this is a good counter opportunity to get some points on the board. Uh, Karma real close to that heat wave, but not enough. If you get some points here, he'll definitely pick it up. But this would be, I'd be absolutely blown away if Optic comes back and wins from this side. But there you go. You're able to get a dunk through. You're now trailing by three. You've got a chance to keep this going. You go to Krim mid-maps. Come just picked up a kill. And they're flipping the book on us. The side I mean, you're not put, supposed to put as many points and, up and on Formal, is where all the points are Formal coming from. Is picking up kills like crazy on the overextension. He grabs three. They toss it forward for a dunk. And this is a one-point game. Oh, my God. What is happening right now? This is not usually where you see back-to-back -back dunks go through. I'm hoping Zuma was weak because that shot was absurd. Another one for Krim. And now the flood is coming from Optic Gaming. You got Heatwave in the back for Karma. Skump's grabbing the drone. He can't pick up the kill, but Skump trying to get around the corner. He has Formal to pick it up. He's got Krim to lead the way. And now they're pushing forward. Can Optic Gaming take the lead? Oh, where'd that Simtex come from? Able to pick it up. Krim drops as well. Formal has pushed the lower, but that's probably going to end the pressure here. You talked about uh, whether you no know, lethals could make an impact in this game right oh, there. That, that would have been a tie game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Simtex, all you saw come over like a teardrop. Like, where did that come from? Land him right on his feet. That certainly stopped at least one. Oh, that would have been a one-point play at minimum because Krim had actually pushed up and killed, I believe, one player. So he might have been able to force a two around the corner, but... And you know, days like that are so big because, again, nobody. I, if you go through every single class right now, you are not going to see flack on anybody. I'm going to look, actually. Yeah, I, I would be blown away if you saw flack jack on any player. You checking them all? Anybody have it? Nope. Nope. No flag. Not a single player flack. Not so that's why, like, player. those those can be so crucial, man. You get one good frag off, one good Simtex. You can make a game-saving play there. We'll see if it really comes down to that. But now, trying to get points on the board is FaZe. They're opting to push up. They're trying to make plays. But it's Crimson down below, just making this hard for them. Uh, Scump is going to be here to back it up. It looks like the drone actually gets reset. Looking at the mid connector, able to find an able going low off the wall run. They're going to grab it now, try to get forward. There's one player to beat. It looks like that's Clayster. He's actually below in lab. He's going to get cleaned up. And now Scump may have an opportunity to get forward. He's going to say, screw the gunfight. I'm going up over the top for the toss and there's the tie it's a nice individual play there by scum both of his teammates dies there were karma and formal he just goes to that quick wall run jumps over the top puts in a one-point play and outside of that initial pressure by phase it has been all og here in the second half they've rallied from the least advantageous side yeah, both teams have unbelievable yeah it's really yeah, unbelievable. Lead. and That's you see three kills sad. actually go in the feed there for Phase. This is where it gets scary. Turn in Someone anything. needs to look at Pal. Somebody needs to look at Pal. I would have Zuma get gun up instead, but he's actually going to grab it and toss us. That works out beautifully. I thought he was going to kill the players rotating out, but they're able to make it work, and there comes the dunk. Clayster has, uh, I believe, his tip is out for just a moment, but where you thought the spawn trap might come in for Phase looks to have died away pretty quickly. And it's going to be attached. Sitting on Jones spawn, just trying to wait for his teammates to come off of the respawn. Now he's going to be able to pick it up and work with them, try and get forward on the map. He's going to bring it back towards Bricks and try and force some players from OG to rotate all the way back over. He's actually going to 
head back on the opposite wall run. It's two dead for FaZe. And you see Zuma and Clay just trying to hold down mid-map. Zuma picks up one. It's another player directly to his right. Pops his kinetic. He drops, though. Clay just trying to stay alive. Top AC only grabs one. Scump picks up a big two-piece. And now let's see if OG can get the drone. Well, it's going to be Karma and Formal now pushing out. Try and fight around the drone. They're able to pick it up. That's going to be two now for Karma. This should be forward momentum coming in for Optic. But actually, Formal and Krim get crushes. Zuma picks up a monster two-piece there around the drone spawn and delays the pressure forward. Now they're trying to get it up. They toss it forward. They can enable ended up catching that. Zuma's got to rotate back to the base. You need to get a dunk here. If you're Optic Gaming, and I think they just grabbed the drone. If, if Clayster can toss that for 15, I think he just did. That might be game. I think he just tossed yeah, the top. They, they would have like a few seconds here. I think like I, I think like a second. Oh, a second. Yeah. We'll see when it and pops probably back. Probably should be it. I think Clay gets it off with 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure it's popped back with a second. Yep, there it is. Yep, just popped. Just comes down. Not so. able to do anything. So heads up play there from Clayster. He's able to get to the 15 second reset and play just enough of their lives to hold on there in the game three uplink. And now we've got ourselves a series. Yeah, both teams had a pretty good half from the least advantageous side. Did not see a lot of spawn traps. Uh, That's what happens when you have, Two I guess, not, caliber teams, yeah. not, not great up like breach teams either when you look yeah, at it statistically. They don't, they don't teams, play it yeah. the way you usually, usually see it done. But uh, a back and forth battle ends up with FaZe just barely holding on. Uh, solid stuff answering back, especially you, you took the brunt of that I guess, comeback force from Optic Gaming when they climb back in it. You thought, oh, my God, everything's unraveling. And then you get that one dunk. You're able to hold on that for the final That nade kill by seconds, attach so. was huge. Would yeah. have been a tie game. And you only would have needed a one-point toss then at the end, maybe, instead of having to try and force for a dunk there. Yeah. You know how it's a lot easier, obviously, to get around that edge and just throw one up for one. Yeah, you might have played that situation differently when yeah. you had the drone on top AC, or you may have brought it back towards the teammates and set up something good for a one And that may have even throw. actually led to a dunk, too. So we could have, that could have just been a tie game flat out if yeah, you don't actually know. gets that in. You really don't know. I think I don't know if it led to a dunk. I think it definitely would have been at least one point yeah. play. But a uh, huge nade kill. And they're talking about it a little bit in the pregame. I said I don't think it would have made a difference. It does. but At least on that one play. At least on did. that one play. And that was probably the biggest one of the game. All right. Well, let's kick things over to Revan to break down that crazy game three uplink. It's FaZe staying alive for the time being as they take that uplink match against Optic Gaming. You see the scoreboard behind me. FaZe, thanks to some good slang, they outslayed Optic Gaming there. They're able to build momentum on that second half and take the lead. But Optic Gaming certainly made it interesting. And the highlight I picked out for you guys is that exact moment in the game where it looked like Optic Gaming were going to be able to take the lead despite fighting from the, the, I guess, the less preferred side. So let's roll the clip and see exactly how they were able to do it. Now on Breach Uplink, both teams are presented with the opportunity to get the scoring train going as long as they manipulate the spawns properly. And right here, Optic Gaming, they show a great understanding of the uplink spawns here on Breach. They get that initial dunk, and they just do a great job of not only blocking the cage spawns that basically come in, but also just slaying their opponents on the overextension. Formal makes a big play right here as he picks up three. And up until that point, he was relatively quiet on the map. Crimsex is also going to pick up a big two-piece here to just maintain some map control in Optic Gaming's favor. As Optic Gaming, they were able to make it to a one-point lead for FaZe. But this is how it all broke down. Optic Gaming fighting from Broken. They're trying to score on this portal here. Now, what I meant when I said that they were blocking the cage spawns is there are two main spawn points that FaZe will get when they're defending on this side. One is outside cages. The other, as you know, is going to be over at couches. So what Optic Gaming do is they made sure that throughout this series of plays, they had a player there continuously blocking the spawns. Formal, he was controlling middle map, and he's in charge of watching the overextension. So as you have phase players spawning up over near couches here, right? They could try to rotate back and try to fight from their goal. That's not what they decide to do here, at least initially. They try to rotate back, and they fight through the narrow choke point here, and they're met by Formal, who's able to slay out three. So Optic Gaming, they also have a player here over near top AC maintaining control. And then they have the drone carry after that. I'll just put the, the X there to represent that. So you see they have a good spread, right? As I'll just delete some of these arrows so you can see better. You have formal middle map watching the mid bridge. You have top ACs zoning out the couches spawn. You're blocking these spawns over at cages. I think it was Karma doing that while they're moving the drone forward. This is really as ideal as it could get for Optic Gaming, at least when you're fighting from that least preferred side. And yes, you could definitely make it work. It's pretty rare that you see something like that happen, but Optic game, they were able to get four down just to get that initial setup going, and then they kept the rally going for a dunk after. In the end, it just wasn't enough as FaZe were able to hold on to their lead that they built throughout the first half. But guys, if you're just tuning in, this is how the series broke down so far. It was a very close hard point map on 